How many teenagers slice their wrists? How many young people beat, bash, and burn themselves? One in six. In case that statistic isn't quite sinking in for you, one in six teenagers self-harm. You would think that with such a high number, we would be taught everything there is to know about mental health. And yet we as a younger generation are, ig are ignorant because nobody wants to teach us. There is a poisonous taboo around mental health, a silent agreement set up by the authorities to keep us in the dark because they don't want us to know. Maybe they think it's to keep us safe, but me hearing about depression won't make me depressed. Me knowing about the dangers of anorexia won't make me starve myself. Whether we get this vital information and education or not, these issues are still real and they kill children and young people every year. Because we as young people have to go through this by ourselves, we often show self-concern. But then some adults have the audacity to tell us that we are self-absorbed and self-obsessed, the me generation. Well, maybe we have to be the me generation when I had to teach myself about mental health because no teacher ever did, when my peers are suffering at their own hands, when my friends have no one to turn to when they act self-destructively because they don't know who to go to because no one has told them that they can. Now without this education, ignorance and fear are bred and with that comes the twisting and warping of information. And in the instance of mental instability comes romanticization. Kids post pictures on Tumblr and other social network sites of their scars and cuts in some twisted competition to be the most broken. The phrase, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels, circulates the internet, poisoning our youth. But they don't know that this is wrong because no one has told them so. They don't know, they don't see the graves of the children dug before their time because they put themselves there because they had nowhere else to go than six feet under. And the reason they do not know is because nobody told them and nobody told them because nobody wants to admit that they are smearing out reality. They are vandalizing the pain that people go through because they want to create a perfect society out of imperfect individuals and you cannot make a mirror out of broken shards. People may say that mental health is irrelevant to people of my age, but when it's your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, your parent, maybe even you, this is relevant every single waking day and it always will be until the day where everyone can put down the razor, pick up the fork, speak about mental health, and feel as though life is worth living again. Thank you.